On October 27th, three elite teams of CSRs hailing from the boiling hot tarmac of Orlando, the windswept badlands of Baltimore, and Milwaukee's frozen tundra assembled at MCO for the Ramp Relay Championships. We are here in Orlando and we're getting ready to have a station against station against station competition. The winning team would take home the coveted Air Trans Trophy and the right to call itself the best of the best. We're going to see if that uh, trophy fits in the overhead because we're taking it home to Baltimore. The one-woman competition committee, Micah Davis, oversaw the construction of the obstacle course. The obstacle course is this, basically. It's a runner. He goes, picks up the carts, the bags, drives through the whole obstacle course, tags a caterer who caters two trays, drops the bags off, we offload, we stack. Our second runner goes through the whole process again, tags the caterer, then drops the bags off. We do it one more time for the finale where they go through, tag the caterer, and the caterer is the last person, the anchor. And once they're done, that's it. Grumblings by the out-of-town teams of home field advantage were dispelled by Orlando team captain Stacy Johnson. The course wasn't even set up till this afternoon, so uh, no one saw the course until everybody sort of saw the course. So it was like it, it was pretty fair in my estimate. A coin flip by race official Yolanda Oluva determined the race order. Orlando first. Good luck, everybody. We're the best team win. And the race was on. Hi, Mark. Get set. Team Milwaukee rocketed to a well, not terribly fast start. From throwing bags to navigating the obstacle course, the rookie squad appeared overmatched. We haven't trained at all, and actually everybody on our team from Milwaukee has been here for seven months or less. I am the lead agent down here. I've only been with AirTran for seven months now. But the quick hands of caterer Stephanie Bialis helped make up some time and left the squad feeling good. We did well. I mean, we put this together a couple of days ago. Didn't really know what was going on, didn't know what to expect, but I'm proud of them. We all did well. Next up, Baltimore did its best to blaze the course, with Suzanne Kent driving the first leg, and Maurice Wright chucking bags like hot potatoes. Things were looking good, right up until Philip Plummer got lost, costing the team valuable minutes. To make up time, team captain Juan Esquerra drove like the devil, and caterer Dante Boyd displayed his fists of fury. While the official finishing times were kept secret, it was clear that Baltimore had established itself as the team to beat. We did well. Um, I think everybody competed from our caterers to the runners to the stackers, everybody. Last to take the field was the Orlando squad. New to the team, first runner Veronica Ramos delivered Antonio Holly and Jose Colon the first load of bags, which the competitors summarily abused. While the Orlando team had earlier claimed no local advantage, there was clearly a hometown bias. Finishing off the run, Luis Cardona drove a perfect course and Manny Santeno showed that he may well be the fastest caterer in the entire air trans system. At the conclusion of their run, Team Baltimore, however, cried foul and the cart was left with one wheel in the air. But the controversy was quickly dispelled when the safety official ruled in Orlando's favor. As the Orlando safety coordinator, this car officially's not tipped over. Okay? He's good. Back at the break, the teams anxiously awaited the tally of the time. With the first run through the obstacle course and a total time of 17 minutes, 58 seconds, Team Milwaukee. That's good. With the second run through the obstacle course and a total time of 15 minutes, 53 seconds, Team Baltimore. Hey, you can do it, And with the total time and the third run through the obstacle course, Total time of 13 minutes, 53 seconds. Team Orlando! Team Orlando was gracious in victory and offered to defend the trophy on another station's turf. Thank you very much for coming down. We, we, we do appreciate it. And uh, if you feel that you guys want to host one of these, please let me know, because we'll jump on the plane that challenge was quickly accepted. I do know where the next one's gonna be. It's gonna be January in Baltimore. We're gonna see it, it's gonna be cold, it's gonna be a whole different environment, and we'll see how we can do. After the awards ceremony, the teams assembled for a group picture, displaying the spirit of friendly competition and commemorating 
the inaugural Ramp Relay Championship. If anybody is interested in doing a ramp relay or ramp Olympics of their own, please feel free to contact me, Micah Davis, and I'll be happy to send you whatever that we have. Uh, I am a CI and an operations agent here in Orlando.